Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, and today we're gonna uncreate the Liat 7.5 Moto Helmet. Liat is a South African company founded by Dr. Liat. So uh, apparently Dr. Liat was at a, his son's motocross race and saw a severe spinal injury happen in front of him when he was at the track, and he set out to make safety equipment to prevent such injuries, and they started with neck braces. These days, they make everything kind of head to toe, including helmets, and this is their 7.5. Um, the range starts at 3.5, so we have a video on that if you want to check it out. Uh, the 7.5 is the same helmet as their 8.5 and 9.5, the same chassis, but it's polycarbonate, okay? So that keeps the cost down. This thing comes in at $260, and like the 8.5 and 9.5, they're including goggles with it. These are their 4.5 goggles. We'll show you those in a second. So this helmet comes in, I, they claim it sub three pounds. The US model, we put it on the scale in a size medium, weighs three pounds, two ounces. Still very lightweight. Um, you know, most moto helmets are three and a half to four pounds. So still very lightweight. Uh, it's DOT and ECE certified. Intermediate oval, fits true to size go by the sizing chart there. And one of the, the, the main things they focused on was the fit with the neck brace, because that's uh, what they know, you know, neck braces. So we'll flip that over and show it to you in a minute. Let's dive in um, and show you what they've cooked up. Again, safety is at front of mind. And one of the safety features baked into the 7.5 is a breakaway uh, sun visor. So this does not have screws, you'll notice that. Other helmet manufacturers will go with screws, and if they're smart, they'll at least use plastic screws so that they shear. But this actually has snaps and uh, under here. Um, the, the good thing about that, the benefit, is that it pulls away easier than helmets with screws. And a lot of times you won't even break your visor, which is nice. So if you take a head plant, uh, it's not going to put your neck in a funny position. This visor is going to shear off. So it's meant to protect you. Uh, the downside is that it's a fixed position. This is not, is not adjustable. To deal with that, they've included a visor extender. So uh, that'll help you get a little bit more sun coverage. Let me flip that over. So you can ride with or without that. They've included that in the box. The other thing you're gonna notice is the way that this is cut. It doesn't have a big, um, a lot of helmets, especially in the mouth guard, kind of have a rounded edge down here and it hangs down below the back side of the helmet. This profile is nice and flat, so it makes good contact with the neck brace. Uh, next up, ventilation. The Liat, outside of maybe an Aero, or um, that's probably the only other brand I've seen, with this much true ventilation up here, these windows and uh, like here and up on the top, and then these exhaust vents back here. When we open this helmet up and I show you through the bottom, you'll see that the EPS is actually molded in a way where these holes go straight through onto the rider's head. So you're gonna get lots of ventilation, probably more than any helmet we've seen in the US market. You're also gonna get uh, forehead vents, of course. And then this, this vent here is actually a goggle blower so that the air coming through this channel is pushed right down to your goggles, which is nice huge mouth vent uh, or chin bar vent and uh, this goes straight through it's got a huge window cut in the chin bar and then you've got some of the the gills on the side here make sure the goggles so these are their uh their four or five goggle included and they usually match these up with whatever graphic it's coming with this is the cactus graphic and so you get the cool looking cactus goggle these are anti-fog triple foam a uh, decent set of goggles they're including. Considering this helmet's only $260, uh, it's a pretty awesome value. Got silicone bead on the back. So those will be in the box of the helmet. You also get your typical riding sock. <clears throat> when you move up to the, uh, the 8.5 and the 9.5, they do give you a more deluxe carrying bag as well as a uh, more premium set of goggles. So let's get those out of the way. We'll flip this guy over and show you some of the other cool features. Oh, one other thing. Their eye port is really big. I can almost fit two fists in there. So it doesn't matter what goggle, if you're using theirs, you're using maybe something like this guy. We got the Oakley Air Brake, which is kind of known to be one of the bigger ones. And you can fit that, no problem. So big eye port. 
And that's another place a helmet is gonna ventilate, especially a moto, moto helmet like this, is the, the areas around the goggle. So a bigger eye port means you're gonna have more room around the goggle for air to flow in. Okay, let's flip this guy over. So, um, hydration ready. The 3.5 does not have this, the 7.5, 8.5, and 9.5 are all hydration system ready, so you can plumb that in through here, and then it's got a place for it to uh, reside over here on your left side so you can get your bite valve in, into the correct spot. <clears throat> also, typical double D-ring closure with a snap retainer and more safety features. We've got the pull release cheek pads. Those are to get out of the way in case of an accident and EMS can more easily remove the helmet from your head. Let's get those out of the way. There we go. So the whole uh, liner is removable washable made with ecstatic liner. That is a silver um, infused uh, fabric that is antimicrobial, anti-sweat, um, and it'll keep the helmet from getting funky between rides. You can wash these in the sink and air dry those. Also inside of here, let's pull this out of the way and show you that chin bar vent I was talking about. This window, I mean, you're getting a lot of airflow through the chin bar of this, this helmet. Uh, we're gonna remove the headliner. One thing I, I think is a little unusual uh, for a moto headliner is they've made it part of the, the neck roll here, which makes it a little trickier to deal with. Same up here on the brow. This is all part of the comfort liner. I'll show you as I take this apart. And the EPS foam is quad density. So four density EPS foam uh, in side of this helmet and different densities of EPS crash foam are made to absorb different types of impacts. So some of this foam is made to work better in lower energy impacts and some of it's harder uh, as you go through it for higher energy impacts. The other thing you're gonna see in here is the 360 turbine technology. So their 360 patented 360 turbine technology are these blue little pucks. We'll clip in some cool graphics here so you can see how those work. But basically that's meant to handle angular momentum. And um, a lot of the different helmet companies have coming out with their, their own proprietary or maybe a licensed technology like MIPS to handle that sort of, um, those sort of forces. And it's especially common in off-road helmets. So uh, MIPS or Fly has their Rion system. Liat has the 360 turbines. It also helps keep the helmet lifted up off your head just a touch. That way the air moves through this liner and gets onto your scalp a little bit better. So there's your liner. You can see those little holes cut where the turbines these blue turbine 360 turbines are. Another thing you're going to see in here is the logo for the Ejex system. The Liat uh, 758595 are all Ejex system ready. And what that is is it's sold separately, but it's an air bladder that you install and then you leave a little valve down here. And that's another way EMS can get the helmet off your head without disturbing your spine, hopefully, and they can pump that up and it actually pushes the helmet off your head instead of someone having to pull it off of your head. All right, so loaded with safety tech. Uh, the warranty is only one year. That's a little bit below an industry standard of two years. So we'd like to see them bump that up. But all in, if you're looking for something very lightweight with a full suite of safety features under $300, I mean, the Liat 7.5 is, is an awesome value. And again, they're including those goggles. Head over to speedax.com. Remember, this helmet does run true to size. Go by your sizing chart, but if you miss, uh, exchange and returns are always free with Speed Addicts, so uh, risk-free shopping. Head over there, get your Liat 7.5 today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.